lessons that we should learn from late Mr. Ifa Yoba's dead. Welcome back, everyone, and thank you so much for stopping by. So, my people, a few days ago, late Mr. Ifa Yoba's burial took place in Anambara, which a lot of people came out and said a lot of good things about Ifa Yoba. And also, a lot of people came out and said a lot of bad things about Ifa Yoba. But what lessons? Did we learn from Ifa Yoba's death? Look at this video here. People that are covering Ifa Yoba's grave. There are poor people, commoners, people that we don't even regard in the society. Look at how important these people are right now. This to show you that everyone is important, no matter if you are rich or if you are poor. And also to our politicians, what lesson are they learning from all this? Because all of them now, they're just focused on 2027 election. No one cares about the poor masses, the hardship that is going on in Nigeria. They're even talking about who to bring and who to remove come 2027. Knowing fully well that tomorrow is no guarantee. Knowing fully well that we don't even have an idea of what is going to happen in the next minute. Those that are packing money and hiding it in their houses. Why the poor masses are out there crying because they don't have food to eat. A lot of people dying from starvation. While we have these groups of people using Nigeria resources for themselves, what lessons are they learning from all this? Let me allow you guys to listen to this powerful speech from Archbishop Paulinus Ezokafo during Ifa Yoba's burial. Secondly, we gather like this when we come for this our VG Mass of Human, also to console and condole, condole the living. I'm an unwell gauge in one Adam. There is no time. We know that very well. Man, we can a more they call them much more difficult to understand. No fool, you could say now, one, one, D, me, one guy, and I see you all go to Namor, one, and I'm on one cobble. A more, I am one, a Tony Tech, cobble, madam, one, see you all. No, I can't no no dimo, no unyo, muta unkiye, and how come the kunka makande father and the sister, they are counted off. Obo na opotazi e mucha o mu na azufa, azufa ase na mucha lo mero gini, ona azura fazu. Obo na azufa go ha, kwala chapazi a ka o mu bi ase na na azufa lo mero gini. So there is never a time when somebody dies and people say it's okay. We must have something. And so, we can we condone them to understand. And you might love me. And now, obviously, and obviously, anybody here in this world knows that he or she must go back to the maker. It's a question of time. But sometimes, for human reckoning, when we to observe these things, we feel, oh, it's very untimely and the rest of them. But we have to accept it. And also, to one us. The third thing is also, we want ourselves. I don't want your canante. And that is why my central team in this homily is, uh, will be from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 1, verse 2 and 3. Where he's talking about vanity of vanities, all is what? Vanity. <laughs> And combining it with uh, the psalmist in Psalm 144, verse 4, talking about man. Also. What is man that we can Mind that is something today, the next moment is what? And that is the situation we find ourselves. If you want to talk about the death of our brother, our own, if I, that shows us how world the world is. Even in the vanity of vanities, all is what? We shall pass. So, I, I mean, we, we are not talking about if I now. We are talking about who? We ourselves here. And the Igmadunin, if I need a Madunin, oh yeah, me, you are yeah, me, Lekuga. Yeah, if I need a Madunin, oh yeah, me, you are me, Lekuga. One second is what? Is over. But this should not threaten us. Okay, I have a rifle job. Lihu wana agafe, lihu ni naga. Oga abra yifu jo, na hii anu, ane maa uwa. Makana, 
I am an Amma Duchine Kekere when I Kokonabo. The spirit, that is the soul and the body. We have that aspect. The soul and the body. This life of ours, the body we have, we die. It is time bound. It is a limited time. If, if you tell yourself that no matter how strong you are, no matter how worthy you are, no matter whatever, you will find yourself that you will eventually do what? Die, die for sure. And the by an um on we are barely. Oh yeah, buro on kai bu. Nananka ukuazigini. Nka ukuazigini. Oh yeah. Oh yes, because nka we ne na ni fi ne megu na emezi. Why on why on? Nee tuli gina tuli ano keto megini. Sweet here. So as human beings, that one the body will die. It's a question of time. And there is something remaining that will be eternal. That is the soul. That is why in the preface in our mass we say, "Makandi kwe na ge." If you have that belief, and it's true, even the scriptures show us that. If you recall the story of the Lazarus and the rich man, it will show you that at the end of life there will be reward. If you are done well, you receive eternal blessing. If you are not done well, you receive punishment. Even in the world today, it's done. Now, but you need to watch it. The only may hear the Megini. How then can you say the all good God will not reward or punish? So, my brothers and sisters, very vital. We must live this life in such a way that it prepares us for another life. You are making a mistake. I know some, I hope you understand me because I don't know. Man, I won't one cause. So if I walk on your border, I The kite comes on the sky. So when the car, when the chicken is taking water, it will be looking up, being, being observant. Being, you know, but if they, this chicken becomes so stupid and so concentrated in the water, what will happen? The kite will come and pick it, and water will remain. Another one, or um, okwa, okwa si omu yono tolu juno megini, makonye mweji eme guru, makonye mweji eme legini, oye guru ji. So in you know, you tolu jim, mano okwa ne eri so ne eri ji, onye mweji kecha da no ba ujeme ba no ba biye. He cannot. But okay, we take this, and so I, tell, I want to tell all of us here, we who are still living, as we live our lives, let us know that it's another life. And for you to get that life, to be in a state that um, uh, Lazarus was if you, in the scriptures, he was happy, and the rich man was sad, is because when we live our lives here, according to the will of God. And the will of God is nothing but love your God, love your neighbor, and love yourself as you are. It will come in everything. And we should look at it. And so, without taking much of our time, because I know the evening is coming, I want us to, as we live our lives, let us always consider that one day we shall leave this place. I know those in politics, the, because you have a, a senator, we are celebrating his death. Other senators, we are other reps, other politicians, other businessmen, and everybody. All we are trying to tell ourselves, vanity of vanities, all is a... Vanity. All this total gagani in our new book. All the anacumulate word, now pack. A pack, you do a pack, child. You remember the story of the rich man? The, the man who planted and walked and his farm made a wonderful harvest. And he said, oh, I have everything stored for me. All I need there here. Now, let me prepare myself and enjoy what I have on the board for. 
Forgetting the giver. Okay, one of his problems, no chete juhu enye liye. Forgetting the woman does it, no sosia. Onye nguye wesia. This night, I want what? I want you. Osizye yeni ina onye nguye. We are not saying that in the world you shouldn't work hard. Very, very good. Genesis made it clear. He told our first parents, conquer the world. But as you conquer the world, do not allow the world to do what? To conquer you. Allowing the world to conquer you means you... you, you Christi. Kai mota na ndo anya. Deka sami isti sigwa esam. 144 verse 4. What is man? Let it keep you in mind. The man that is seen now, the next moment is what? Gone. And Koheret in his book told us, vanity of vanities, all is there. So let us as we walk and struggle for the things of this life, let us never forget that we shall leave this place one day. Let us prepare for the world that is. And the Bible is not cocoa ball, near you, born as a sum, we are guinea mel. Kedun came a guinea. Kedun can also an ankiru me guinea. The next world. To be with God, catch his name was very simple. I said, Makagini catch good ye can ye. I said, Okay, like I am Malaya. And you are fair and I am your queer. And you are fair and no work. I give you a man. Heaven is our target. No matter what you think you have done in this world and acquired or done, if you miss heaven, you have missed everything. So, we pray God to grant our brother, Senator Dr. Ifani Patrick, who back it in our rest. He has won, done his best. We believe that God, who knows everything, in his infinite mercy, will grant me eternal rest. May he rest in the Lord. Amen. Hmm. This is indeed a moment of reflective thought. Like Archbishop just said it all here, the truth is that whether you are poor or whether you are rich, you must surely die. None of us are getting out of this life alive. Just think about it. May the soul of Ifa Yoba continue to rest in peace. So my people, that is it. As I make I bring this update to you guys. Thank you so much everyone for watching. And I will see you guys in my next one. Goodbye for now. Welcome to Chamber Seniors TV.